Good morning children. Today we are going to deal with the poem The Trees by Adrienne Rich. We shall have the explanation of all the four stanzas of this poem. First of all, let us have the central theme or central idea of the poem. The poem The Trees by Adrienne Rich shows the conflict between man and nature. So, the main theme of this poem reveals the conflict between man and nature with the growth and development of society. Means we are talking about technology. With the growth of technology, human beings you have used nature for their own benefit and caused lots of harm to our natural environment. The poet wants to give the message that the presence of few trees inside our homes does not give us the feeling of nature, means the feeling of forest, the feeling of woods. Real nature is outside in the forest that we have destroyed. The poem tells us how the trees want to break free from the walls that humans have put around them and go out into the forest. Means if you want to enjoy the bliss of tree, you must enjoy the nature. Now stanza one. The trees inside are moving, inside means inside our house, in our courtyard. The trees inside are moving out into the forest, the forest that are empty all these days, where no bird could sit, no insect hide, no sun bury its fate in shadow, the forest that was empty all this night will be full of trees by morning. Bury means covered so that it is not visible. Okay, according to Muslim mythology, when they die, they are buried. According to Hindu mythology, when they die, they are cremated. Okay. So explanation of this stanza, in, this, in these lines, in the first stanza, the poet has used her imagination by saying that the trees are moving, but actually the trees are not strolling at all. The poet says that the trees in her house are moving outside into the forest which was empty for a long time. These trees are cut from the forest and kept into the houses for creating a false impression of nature or for decoration. On one hand, human beings are cutting down forest. Deforestation is going on at a large scale. On the other hand, they are justifying their action by planting, by planting small plants inside their house, in their courtyard. As the forests were empty, so no birds could sit on the branches of the trees, no insect could hide themselves in the trees and the sunlight could not be covered by the shadow of the trees. The poet further says that as the trees are moving out, the forest which were empty all these nights will be full of trees by the morning. Now let us have the second stanza. The night, the root work, all night the roots work to disengage themselves from the cracks in the veranda floor. The leaves strain towards the glass, small twigs stiff with exertion, long cramped boughs suffling under the roof like newly discharged patients, half dazed moving to the clinic doors. We have some important word meanings here. First of all, disengage. Disengage means set free. Strain means make a lot of effort. Twigs means branches. Stiff means hard, firm. Exertion means pressure. Cramped means shrunk. Boss means large branches of a tree. The shadow, chhao jo milta hai pere se, usko boss bolte hai. Suffling, slow dragging motion without lifting feet. Half dozed, half shocked, half asleep, bewildered, shocked, amazed. Now we will have explanation of the second stanza. In these lines, the poet says that it seems like the trees work silently in the night in order to get free from the boundaries of the wall. The roots of the tree work all night to set themselves through the cracks on the veranda floor. 
there is not enough space on the veranda floor so the roots are emerging out of the floor okay and hence it creates crack the leaves of the trees try very hard to put a lot of pressure on the window glass so that they could break it and go outside means trees have a ten trees tends to go to forest the small twigs the topmost part of the branches have become very hard due to applying too much pressure to free themselves the larger branches of the trees have shrunk and had bent because of being inside the walls and under the roof where they control cannot grow much due to less space they try to move outside slowly from there and look like new discharged patients from a clinic as the space is not enough we are half shocked on coming out into the outside world so they penetrate the veranda and they try to move outside the house stanza third i sit inside doors open on the veranda writing long letters i the poet adrian rich in which i scarcely mention the departure of the forest from the house the night is fresh the whole moon shines in a sky still open the smell of leaves and lichen still reaches like a voice into the rooms some of the hard words are vocab scarcely hardly lichen means crusty patches on tree trunks tree trunks means stem of the tree okay explanation of the third stanza the speaker who could be the poet herself sits in her house the doors of her house open to the veranda the poet is writing long letters in which she hardly mentions the departure of trees from the house hardly mentions means she, she hardly mentions the departure of the trees from the house hardly mentions means she does not mention about this phenomena of the tree the poet says that the night is fresh and the whole moon is shining in the open sky the smell of leaves and lichen reaches the poet like a voice coming from the rooms of the house and sees and join stanza 4 my head is full of whispers which tomorrow will be silent listen the glass is breaking the trees are stumbling forward into the night winds rush to meet them the moon is broken like a mirror its pieces flash now in the crown of the tallest oak some of the vocab in this stanzas are stumbling means falling over flash means sign crown means topmost point crown taj okay oak is the name of a tree now explanation of this last stanza that is the fourth stanza the speaker listens to the sounds coming from the leaves and lichens on the trees these sounds will not be present on the next day as the trees will have moved out into the forest in the night forest trees are so much wedged being in the house that they tend to go to forest so in the night they will go to forest it is the imagination of the poet the poet can hear the glass breaking breaking the glass the trees go to the forest as the glass breaks the trees hurry to go outside in their journey they fall on each other and get stuck at different places as the trees go in the open it seems that the wind is rushing or moving towards them to meet them means the meeting of it appears going of the trees into the forest the meeting of the earth and the sky horizon i after going out into the forest the tree the tall trees stand straight in the forest its branches cover the moon due to which it looks like a broken mirror the broken pieces of the moon seems like a crown of the tallest oak tree means the broken piece of the moon resembles the tallest oak tree described in the fourth stanza of the poem the trees written by adrian rich there are some figure of speech used in this poem that is simile imagery personification you all have to take out the lines which gives figure of speech 
simile imagery personification this is your homework and it will be cleared in the next video thank you have a nice day